How do bombers vanish? That's the question pulling us right into today's story because we're taking a closer, first-look dive into how massive, thunderous bombers slowly evolved into quiet, shadow-like machines that barely show up on a radar screen. And honestly, the transformation feels almost unreal. One moment we imagine huge aircraft shaking the sky, and the next we're talking about planes that slip through the air like ghosts. The shift from loud to silent. As we look back, it's easy to forget that early bombers were anything but subtle. They were fast, they were loud, and radar loved them because they were huge, bright targets. But as technology moved forward and air defenses grew sharper, we reached a point where size and noise weren't just flaws, they were survival risks. So engineers began searching for a way to make these giants lighter on the radar, and that's really where the whole stealth bomber idea took off. The first glimpse of stealth. When we first see a stealth bomber up close, it almost doesn't look real. Instead of the usual rounded curves, we find sharp angles, flat surfaces, and a shape that feels more like something from a science fiction sketch than a military hangar. But every line is there for a reason. Each angle helps scatter radar waves, making the aircraft look smaller than a bird on an enemy screen. That first impression sticks with us because it shows just how far designers were willing to push the rules of aviation. How they actually disappear. Now, moving deeper into the idea, stealth isn't magic. It's smart design. The body absorbs and redirects radar. The engines are tucked away, so the heat signature becomes harder to track. Even the paint matters. Everything works together to make the bomber less visible, not just to radar, but also to infrared and even sound detection. The result is a machine that can fly into highly protected airspace without setting off alarms.